points. But for now, though, I just want us to take a look at something to do with the election process, the electoral process uh, from IEBC. It gazetted some regulations that must be observed even as we await to have this uh, repeat poll. And there you have it on your screens. I'll just go through them uh, with you. So these are really the efforts to secure the presidential election. And first thing there, training of polling officials has been standardized. You'll remember that a few weeks back, uh, IBC, actually last week, IBC took up uh, that role of ensuring that all the people who will be handling uh, all the forms this particular, uh, in this particular election are properly trained. They, of course, they'll be, they are trained on filling of the result declaration forms, uh, polling procedures, and really the process of uh, the securing the election materials and of course, they had also a training manual by the IEBC. So these are just some of the issues with regard to training that is said to have been extremely meticulous so that the uh, errors that were committed in the August 8th election really are not repeated. Uh, secondly, there you have the complementary system in case of uh, Kem's uh, failure, the Kenya Integration Electoral Management System. If it failed, uh, of course, they were trained with regard to the complementary system. What exactly to do? And that complementary system has been put in place We'll be looking at it shortly, especially when it comes to uh, results transmission. Also, there each uh, um, kit to use a Safaricom card as primary network. Remember that uh, in the last uh, election on August 8th, there are quite a number of uh, polling centers that were not connected uh, to the network. And therefore, this time round, they are saying that uh, that will be a must for all the kits to be connected to a Safaricom network as a very basic level of securing this poll. Also, results to be projected as they are keyed in, and then their presiding officers must fill the form 34A, transmit, then physically deliver the forms uh, to the CR road uh, on uh, the uh, collation of uh, the numbers from the different uh, polling centers. Also, accredited media to be given access to film the results. Remember also the media has been um, on the receiving end as to just what role we played with regard to ensuring that the numbers uh, from the polling centers actually made sense. And therefore, this time round, uh, the media will be able to access uh, the forms to film the results. Remember, they can do this with uh, like taking a picture or video of the same. So those really are the uh, efforts that have been made by the IEBC to secure the presidential uh, poll, the repeat presidential poll. But also very importantly, remember that I spoke about uh, the uh, failure, in case there's a failure of uh, the kits. Uh, this time round, uh, IBC is offering complementary mechanism for the uh, results transmission process. And they say that in case that kit fails in a certain polling station, what happens is that um, the presiding officers will be allowed to move to yet another polling station and look uh, and uh, of, that has good network and transmit the results accordingly. Uh, also, they say that if in that the next uh, uh, center they still not network, uh, they are allowed now to proceed to the constituency tallying center and transmit from the constituency tallying center. And they're also giving an option where the uh, kids fail completely. So what happens is that the presiding officer shall inform the constituency returning officer of the failure. They will be able to either ask for a replacement or repair of the same if they, they, they are within time and they invent that the kit cannot be repaired or replaced. Now, the presiding officer shall document the incident in the polling station, which will be signed by all the agents. And then now what happens is the presiding officer will proceed to deliver the hard copy form 34A and the polling station diary to the constituency returning officer. So really some measures being put in place to ensure that even if the kits don't work, then um, there is the the returning officers have another option of actually delivering uh, that form 34A physically uh, to the constituency level. So we'll be uh, so that's really uh, the latest with regard to measures IBC is putting in place to safeguard the repeat poll. Right now.